Gear is one of the most important aspects of backpacking. It can keep you warm, dry, and comfortable, and makes all the difference between completing your trip with a smile on your face or being miserable the entire time. You don't want to be 20 miles from your car in a tent that leaks in a three-day rainstorm. Trust me. One of the most important questions is, how am I going to carry all this stuff? And that's where your pack comes into play. Packs come in small, medium, and large, and this refers to your torso size. Make sure you're trying your pack on before you buy or borrow it to make sure it fits your torso appropriately. Now that torso size has nothing to do with how much your pack can actually carry. That's measured in liters. On the small end of the spectrum, you've got 30 liter packs all the way up to 80 or more liters. A 30 liter backpack is probably for an overnight or an ultralight type of trip. An 80 liter pack is for 10 days or more. So now that your pack is packed, it's time to get into adjusting the fit of your pack. And we do this after there's weight in your backpack because it's gonna sit a lot differently on your body with weight in it than it did when it was empty at the gear store. We'll start with the most obvious, that's the hip belt down at the bottom. This is what's gonna hold the bulk of the weight of your pack around the lower part of your body. Also on the hip belt is a micro adjustment strap, which will bring the base of your pack where most of the weight sits closer to your hips. Then I've got my shoulder straps. Shoulder strap adjustments are right down here. And then moving up the shoulder strap is my load lifter. The load lifter works exactly the same way that this micro adjustment strap does. It brings the bulk of the weight closer to your body. Then I've got my haul loop. The haul loop is important to know about because this is the loop you're going to want to use when you're carrying your pack when it's not on your back. A lot of people will just haul their pack around using one shoulder strap and what that does is it puts a lot of wear and tear on that strap and reduces the longevity of your investment into your backpack. So always remember to use the haul loop when you're carrying your pack around. And last but not least you have your sternum strap which goes across the front of your body and prevents your shoulder straps from slipping off your shoulders and helps with the stabilization of your pack. Now I'll put my backpack on and the first step is to make sure that your straps are fairly loose all throughout. Uh, if your straps are really tight, then it's gonna be a lot harder to wiggle your way into your backpack, especially since it's fairly heavy. Obviously, I've got a conveniently located table here. It's also pretty much the perfect height to put my pack on. Normally, this pack would be down on the ground. And if it's heavy, I find that it's more useful for me to hoist the pack onto my knee first and then put it on. So I'll start by looping my hand underneath my haul strap and then getting my elbow underneath the shoulder strap. From here, I can get the pack onto the center of my back and move my arm underneath the other strap. Get the weight of the pack centered on your body. First strap I'm gonna adjust is my hip belt. And I want the middle of my hip belt to meet my iliac crest. That's the bony part of your hips. So if you point to that bony, bony part of your hip bone, that is where the very middle of your hip belt should go. So sometimes you might have to Hoist the pack up a little on your back and lean over to get the hip belt there. Then you'll buckle and placing one hand on the hip belt, one hand on the strap, you'll slide that strap into place to get it sitting on those hips. And ultimately, you want about 80% of the weight of your pack on these hips. The next strap to adjust are your shoulder straps. And these are down below here, so I'm just gonna pull on them slightly. And I like to do every other right and left um, because that's gonna make sure that they're even. And I get really uncomfortable if one strap is a lot looser than the other. You're gonna start walking lopsided if you do that. So nice, slow, careful adjustments here. Um, when my shoulder straps are fitted properly, they should be about two fingers snug between the strap and the shoulder, and that'll change in just a second. Now I'll go down to this micro adjustment on my hips and just pull these straps forward, bringing the bulk of the weight of my pack closer towards my hips. Next are my load lifters, and these are really hard to see unless you already know where they are. And these ones I'll just pull forward on 
and that's going to bring the weight of my pack further forward. It also lifted some of my shoulder strap up. So now I can easily slide two fingers underneath my shoulder straps. And here on my load lifter strap, you'll notice that I have a 45 degree angle at the connection of the strap to the backpack. And that's ideal because it takes a lot of the weight off of my shoulder strap. And nobody wants these straps just slicing into your shoulders all day long. And the last strap to adjust is your sternum strap. It's going to buckle just across the top of your chest. For women, this is just above your bust line. And you can tighten it a little bit. The sternum strap doesn't need to be super tight. You're not trying to get your shoulder straps to touch one another in the center of your body. You're just trying to prevent your shoulder straps from slipping off your shoulders and help with that stabilization of your pack. Now, if you're hiking and you notice your fingers are getting a little bit numb, it might mean that your sternum strap is a little bit too tight and it's cutting off the circulation of the blood flow to your arms. While you're hiking throughout the day, items are going to shift in your backpack, which is going to offset the weight a little bit. So you'll find yourself making little micro adjustments all throughout the day as you're hiking, and that's totally normal. What fit perfectly when you left camp in the morning is probably not going to fit well after a nice big lunch halfway through the trail. And you'll notice that depending on the terrain, you might adjust your pack as well. When I'm hiking uphill, I'm hunched forward a little bit more. So I might uh, loosen those shoulder straps and uh, just hunch forward. And sometimes if I'm on more uneven terrain, I'm just gonna tighten everything down a little bit more than I normally would. Now to take my pack off, the first step is gonna be to loosen all of those straps. Again, this is for maneuverability purposes so that you're able to really wiggle in and out of the pack. So I've unbuckled my sternum strap and my hip belt. And again, I'm probably going to lower the pack onto my knee before lowering it down onto the ground. But I'll start by threading one arm through my shoulder strap. So then I'll slowly move my pack to the front of my body and lower it to either my knee or whatever surface it's going to go on before I unthread my arm from the other strap. Taking the time to make sure that your pack fits well and is adjusted to the weight that you've got in your pack is going to make all the difference in the feeling of your back at the end of the day. Instead of feeling sore when you crawl into your sleeping bag at night, you'll actually be able to enjoy the entirety of your backpacking trip.